All right, back to weather. Today was a nice re reprieve from the cold we yeah. saw over the weekend. Yeah. Mostly clear skies today, a little breeze, but felt good out there. Yeah, yeah. nice rebound, so. but uh, you're saying don't get too comfortable. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of uncertainty with this next storm. Okay. You know, a lot of people talk about Albuquerque lows. Mm. You've heard yeah. Of that oh, yeah. Usually we know when we hear that in southern Colorado, that means we could get in for some heavy snow, sure. uh, especially for the southeastern plains. And that is what it's looking like right now. Yeah. But there's still a lot of uncertainty. So I want to share this with you and just kind of tell you what we know right now. I know we're about 36 hours out. Most of the time you're 36 to 48 hours out. You should have a little bit more of an idea. But this system, the track of the system just keeps seems to keep shifting as you know from model run to model run so let me show you what we know and what's the latest uh, we've got an area of low pressure that's going to be developing over the next 24 hours you can kind of see it's a little bit of a, a kind of a closed circulation here across parts of the four corners region uh, but possibility we're going to see even more of a southerly track with this system by wednesday morning and wednesday afternoon it is going to be a fairly mild uh, temperature profile, which means it's not going to come with extreme cold, which is also a little concerning because that could mean we get a lot of our moisture in the form of wet snow, uh, a, a lot of melting before the heavy stuff kicks in. So let me show you what we know. Here we are uh, Tuesday afternoon. We're getting an increase in cloud cover across the region. A few little spotty snow showers in the area uh, Tuesday evening. Uh, we'll see a few snow showers across the Palmer Divide, but it looks like we get our first little burst of snow early Wednesday morning between about 4 and 7 a.m. Uh, very light. That's likely to be very light. And then we'll see a break before we see a second surge of heavier snow showers coming into play across portions of Highway 50 and areas uh, closer to Pueblo County. You can see where there's going to be a very uh, defined freezing line where we could see a bit more of a wintry mix east of Lamar in Springfield and then changing over to all snow by Wednesday evening, not really shutting down until early Thursday morning. So in terms of the snowfall at about a 10 to 1 ratio, which is a very wet slushy snow, we see that light morning round very early Wednesday morning uh, between again that 4 and 6 a.m. time frame, possibility of a lot of melting through the first half of the day, and then that second surge of heavier snow is going to be possible south of Highway 50. Wednesday night. Now notice how dark blue uh, those colors are. Dark blue to purple indicates very heavy snow, six to eight inches possible. I'm just telling you what the forecast model is showing so far. It's been wobbling back and forth. So there's going to be the likelihood of a lot of tweaking over the next 12 hours. I would say the most amount of uncertainty in snow amounts is going to be right here through the Palmer Divide. How much moisture reaches uh, areas this far north is going to be the biggest question mark. That's going to be a very hard forecast for us. So it's best for us to be transparent with you and just tell you it looks like our highest certainty of precipitation is going to be along and south of Highway 50 right now. Now coming in at very heavy wet snow materializing Wednesday evening through Wednesday night. Tomorrow is still going to be dry temperatures in the 30s and 40s across the region and then we get that chance for snow settling into the area with several rounds through Wednesday morning and Wednesday afternoon before we see the heavier snow kick in late Wednesday night uh, and into early Thursday morning. So right now I think Colorado Springs and areas around Woodland Park I think that's the biggest question mark of how much we get that moisture uh, field reaching our area. We certainly know with more of a southerly track, it's going to be more promising for areas east of Pueblo and across the southeastern plains. Temperatures, of course, are going to be cooler uh, into the 30s to low 40s across the region. Monuments will be in the 30s, cloudy skies, chance for snow. Uh, of course, temperatures will be rebounding back into the 40s by the latter half of the work week, and we do look for some snow showers around Woodland Park. But right now, this system is looking like it's going to be a heavy hitter across the southeastern plains, the southern mountains and areas south of Pueblo. Uh, a lot to be ironed out uh, with Pueblo County and El Paso County as well as Teller County. Okay, we'll be watching closely. Mary, thank you. We want to show you what it looks like here at I-25 in North Nevada, South Bend.